Hey everyone, welcome back to the Combat Fit channel. I'm Dean and today I'm going to take you through a 7 minute full body workout that you can do with the resistance bands. So whether you've got this style of resistance bands or whether you've got this style of resistance bands, you'll be able to do this workout at home or at the gym and you'll have 7 minutes to do it in and we'll get through the full body hitting the legs, the core, the upper body, shoulders, arms, full body workout. I know a lot of you may not have time to dedicate separate body parts, so that's why in this workout, focusing on compound movements targeting multiple muscle groups, so you're killing two birds, one stone, getting most out of this session. Okay, before we start, you may have this style of resistance bands, which have different attachments attached to it. Each resistance band, which I'll show you in a second closer up, has a different resistance of kg to it and what you usually do is attach these handles to each of these resistance bands or you may have just one standard resistance band which doesn't come with any attachments for this workout any of these resistance bands are perfectly fine because with this resistance bands we can change the intensity and the difficulty depending on how we position our feet and also with these resistance bands all we simply do is change the attachment to the resistance strength of the band. Okay, so first exercise, which is the overhead squat press. Now this is going to target your legs, so your quads, hamstrings, and also your shoulders and a little bit of triceps. So we've got big muscle groups going on and multiple muscles going on. And that's why this exercise is a compound movement. So if you've got this style resistance bands, use also a weight that's comfortable for you. Okay, so I'm just going to start with the light one just because of speediness. Feet shoulders apart, toes turn slightly outwards, flip your hands in the opposite direction so your hands are palms facing up to the ceiling, resistance bands are on the back of your forearms, and all we're simply going to do is squat to sit through your heels, nice and low, pushing these outwards, come up, press up your head with the resistance bands, and then back down again. Nice, smooth, controlled reps. So control it on the way down, and then explosive on the way up. Okay, so you're gonna do 12 reps of that exercise. So squatting down, and bringing back up again. Now, if you've got this style of resistance band, and you can't resist anymore, so some bands come off the limit, which means I can't press any more than that. So, if that's the case, Stand on the band on one side, again, feet shoulder apart, grab the band in the middle so you make this kind of A shape with both hands, squat down, sit through your heels, press both hands with your knuckles up towards the ceiling. So just imagine you're punching the ceiling with both hands. Squatting down, press above your head. Squat down, press above the head. So our next exercise is banded rows. Now this is going to target your back muscles and around and behind where the shoulder blades are, as well as a little bit of biceps. Now there are a few good versions you can do of this. Obviously if you're using this style of band, then wrap it around your feet. Now the only issue you've got this is you kind of tie your feet together. So as long as you can untie yourself, then that's fine. Feet, shoulder, sorry, feet together. Chest forward, back straight. Now don't start here because there's no resistance there. So start with a little bit of resistance. Chest forward, back straight, slight bend in the knees, and all you're going to do is drag your shoulder blades back, squeeze, hold for a second, back in. In, squeeze, hold for a second like this. Okay, so you pull it in between those shoulder blades. Imagine there's a sponge between your shoulder blades and you're squeezing that water out of the sponge, just dragging them back. And Squeeze it in, keep my elbows tight in, I'm not flaring them out. Keeping those elbows pinned in, squeezing, and back again. So, your third exercise is now the chest press with the resistance bands. So, this is going to target your chest muscles, as well as a little bit of triceps. So, the first thing you need to do is wrap the uh, resistance bands behind your back. So, you're actually relying on it, okay? So, Make sure the shoulder part, so the shoulder height, so just below your shoulders and, and underneath, directly underneath your chest. That's where you want the resistance bands located. Now, a lot of bands, like here, you can see, there's no resistance, there's too much slack in the resistance. So this isn't gonna do anything whatsoever. So what I like to do is fold the resistance bands over. Now, the more you fold it, the more resistance is gonna be there. So you're gonna grab the sides here, 
Now already you can feel that resistance band, so there's that tight resistance already here. Elbows not flared out too much, slightly tucked in. Keep your back completely flat to the floor and all you're going to simply do is raise your arms up and into the centre and back down again. Now when you're doing this, try to keep your shoulder blades back and focus on squeezing your chest muscles. So pressing up and then bringing them in to the centre of the chest, like so. And again, we're going to be doing 12 reps on this exercise, just like we've been doing on the previous exercise. Now I'm not rushing this movement. Two seconds up, two seconds down. Now from the front, it should look something like this. So your next exercise is going to be banded deadlifts. So if you've got this version, obviously the less the weight is, the more bendy it's going to be, which means there's going to be slack here. All right. So all you do is increase the weight on the yellow resistance bands, which are these ones. Okay. However, if you've just got your standard one set of resistance bands, it's still doable. Now, as you can see, at the top of the range of motion, there's a bit of tension. However, when we come down to here, there's a lot of slack. So again, a little hack for this, and what I like to do, is wrap your hands around the resistance bands once. Now, there's a lot of tension at the top, which is good, and also, there is tension here where I want. Now, this exercise is going to target your hamstrings, so the back of your legs, your glutes, and also your core muscles. The first thing you need to do is stand on the resistant bands, just a little bit narrower than shoulder width apart. Okay? Stand up nice and tall, make sure your arms are in a fixed position, so I don't see any shrugging like this, so shoulders down, chest forward, back straight. Now the first part of this movement is going to hinge your hips back with a slight bend in the knees, keep your spine all in line. When you feel that resistance ease off, come back up again. So your hands should just low, just below your knees, and then from there you're going to come up. Okay, so we're hips go back, then lift, and back up again. Now your next exercise is going to target your lats, which are just below your armpits. Now again, you can use the other style resistant bands, or you can use your fixed resistant bands that have no attachment. Now to do this, it's going to be called a lat pull, okay, or a banded lat pull. Now to do this, you've got two versions, okay, so if you don't feel any version here, grabbing the handles, then what I tend to do, guys, is fold the resistant band in half. Grab the resistant bands at the edges. The more further out of the resistant band, the less resistance. The closer in the resistant bands, the more resistance. And all you have to do is lie on the floor, feet together, head down. You're going to lift your head up off the ground, and you're going to focus on pulling your elbows into the side of your body. Hold, then reach forward. Bring your body up, squeeze, and then reach forward. Lift your body up, squeeze, then reach forward. Now your next two exercises, we're going to focus on more isolation. So instead of big muscle groups, we're focus on those smaller muscles. We're just going to touch up on a little bit of arms. So the first isolation exercise is going to be targeting them biceps, so the front of your arms. Now, if you've got this style of resistance bands again, all you simply do is change the attachment to the weight and the resistance that you want. If you've got your single resistance bands, then all you simply do is stand on it. Now, the standing position is important because that's what's going to make this weight easier or more difficult. One foot in the middle is the easiest version. Now, the key thing to this is make sure you turn your toes, make sure that the band is right in the middle because the last thing you want is going to your toes and this to flip up and smack you in the face. We've all seen their memes and YouTube videos previously, which we don't want you to do. Elbows tucked in, first thing is make sure you're not curled over like this, chest forward, back straight, and all you're going to do is bend your elbows, drag them up, and back down again. Make sure there's no slack there, so keep that resistance on them biceps, and back down again. Same with every other exercise you've been doing, make sure you're doing 12 rep petitions, okay, like this. Now to make that more difficult, so the medium version would be to stand in the middle of the bands with both feet. Now, first of all, make sure one side isn't more resistant to the other. 
Because if you do that, you're going to end up with a muscle lap hot fire. And we don't want that either. So, again, both feet in the middle, make sure the resistance is even, and you'll feel that resistance a little bit more now than the first uh, variation I showed you. Now, the third variation of this is feet shoulder width apart, so a little bit wider. That adds the resistance, and now I can feel that weight even more on the biceps. And your final exercise, we're now going to target the triceps, which is the back of the arm. Okay, and this is going to be overhead tricep extensions. Stand with both feet in the middle. Now, feet kind of shoulder apart. Bring the weight behind. Grab with both hands, and all we're going to do is extend our elbows up and forward, and then bring it down and behind our head. And this is going to target the back of the arms. And we're here. Again, make sure you have not too much of an arch in your back, your core is tight, and your shoulders aren't moving forward. All you're simply doing, guys, is bending your elbows, straightening your elbows. Bending your elbows, straightening your elbows. Nice, two seconds control on the way down, two seconds control on the way up. From the side, it just looks something like this. Awesome job, everyone. Now, remember them compound movements are going to be effective. It's going to cut a lot of time out of the workout, and you should get this workout done in seven minutes. Now, if you want to increase that workout and you want to make it more difficult, then do three sets of each of those exercises. So the beginner level would be to do one set, then move on to the next exercise. One round, then move on to the next exercise. One more, one round, then move on to the next exercise. Now, the inter intermediate version would be to do two rounds, each of the exercises. So two rounds of the first exercise, then a little rest, move on to the second exercise, do two rounds of that, move on, move on, and so on. And then obviously the advanced version would be to do three rounds of each of those exercises. Now obviously the more rounds you do, the more time it's going to eat into. So intermediate will probably take double the time, and then obviously the advanced version would take triple the time. So it's going to range anything from a seven minute workout, depending on your experience level, to a 28 minute workout. I think we've done that, no, 21 minute workout, okay? Now, if you've enjoyed today's video and you want to see more of these videos, then please hit the subscribe button down below. And also comment on this video of what you enjoyed the most, what exercise was the most effective, and let me know your thoughts of the next video and what you would like to see next. Cheers guys, and I'll see you at the next one. Stay fit guys.